it's good. My name is Michael, otherwise known as Alpha, and today I'm going to be showing you guys the export settings that I use for all my videos. So in case you guys aren't familiar, I use the editing software Adobe Premiere Pro, and I use it for everything. It's amazing, and if you guys want to see a tutorial on how to use Adobe Premiere Pro, it's a little outdated from the version that I have, but every, all the tools and everything are still just about the same. Uh, go ahead and click the annotation on your screen right now in front of your face on the screen that you're watching this on. Or if you're on mobile, go ahead and click on the little card thing on the side and it'll take you there um, but besides that um, I'm gonna be showing you guys the export settings that I use for all my videos so first off let's just go ahead and open up Premiere so let's just go ahead and get to the waiting screen because this is the beautiful waiting screen that we always see every time we open up a bit of Adobe software and this is some time between us uh, we get to get to know each other a little bit so um How's your guys' day? Uh, mine is pretty good. I haven't been doing much today. I'm honestly sick. I caught a cold yesterday. I mean, I, it's it's been pretty crappy, and I built four benches today for my buddy's Eagle project. But besides my day, besides anything personal, um, this is the video I uploaded um, a couple days ago, um, or like two days ago, I think. Uh, it was a survival games video that I uploaded. Um, if you guys want to see it, go ahead and click uh, on this little program monitor, or I'll put an annotation right here, or put it in the card just for you guys. Um, <clears throat> But um, besides the video that I edited and everything and stuff like that, uh, <laughs> um, besides all this, I'm going to be showing you guys the export settings. So let's just go ahead and head to File, Export, Media on Premiere. You could also use this for Sony Vegas as well if you guys could figure out exactly what I'm doing. So... <clears throat> Uh, here's what we're gonna do. So for the format, we're just gonna have it as H.264, and to get to remotely whatever I have, um, we're just gonna go ahead and head down all the way over to... We're just gonna go ahead and head over to HD, uh, let's say 720p 29.97. Perfect. You could use this preset just to kind of get an idea of where to start off, but um, for effects, don't do anything. Video, we'll be doing most of our stuff in here uh audio we'll, we'll be we're really not going to be messing with this at all it's everything's going to be in default multiplexer leave it default captions whatever um <clears throat> but for video <clears throat> this is where we're going to be messing with the most so for your width and height you're going to be setting it to 7 1280 by 720 or if you want to do at 1080p um basically uh there's another preset for that that we can just go off of this is our little building block here and by the way i'm basing all my export settings off of uh the youtube recommended uh uh, settings, the YouTube recommended encoding settings, and I'll actually leave a link down in the description for you guys. And actually, let me just go ahead and type it up YouTube re recommended encoding settings um, right here. Perfect. Um, so basically, for video codec, it's going to be at H.264, and it basically is showing right here. Container MP4, and that's what we have in our little multiplexer. Frame rate, it could be at 24, 25, 30, anywhere between. Anywhere between 24 and 60 should be cool. Like I like those are all fine. Um, <clears throat> anywhere standard like 24 to blah, 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 blah. Uh, this is like another thing. We'll we'll get into everything um, later. But yeah, I'll leave this link in the description just for you guys to look at it, and we'll be referencing here. Um, and I'm sorry, I'm. <clears throat> wow, I'm being a little confusing right now. So let's stop being confusing. So. <clears throat> All right, so the width is going to be 1280 by 720. Is our 1280? All right, so the width is going to be 1280. The height's going to be 720. The frame rate we want a 60 frames per second video because we're going to be doing some gaming footage right here. So 60 frames per second. But if you guys want 30 frames per second, that's up to you. Um, field order we're going to leave it at progressive. Aspect we're going to be leave it at 1.0. Um, TV standard we're just going to keep it at NTSC. Oop. Not into it. I don't know what I just clicked. Oh my god. Yep. Let's just go ahead and get back over here to where we just had everything. Yeah, I just kind of messed everything up. But the TV standard should just don't touch this. Profile, we're gonna drop it on high. Um go ahead and check this thing at render at maximum depth. Uh this should be at 3.2 VBR2 pass. Uh, go ahead and jack this up one all the way. Uh, this is the bitrate, by the way, and let me just quickly explain what the bitrate is. Um, bitrate is basically how much data is going into your video, how 
and basically could determine how big your video file is. So as, uh, let's say the survival games video that I'm doing, this is showing you an estimated file size of how big it could be. Um, it thinks, it estimates the file size is going to be 373 megabytes, and we don't want to have an extremely big file size, but we don't want it to be we don't want to lose a lot of quality either, so like I could just jack the bitrate really down low and you could probably see that the video will end up being like extremely terrible. Oh, let me see, source scaling, da, da, da. But the video will end up being really terrible if I just jack the bitrate really low. If I turn it up really high, it'll go better, but if I turn it down really low, the quality will just go down like I, I don't know like you can't really see it like this is just how the frame is like yeah this is under output um so basically if just for like a safe amount we're just gonna go ahead and put it at seven because uh, that's what I use but I think YouTube what do they recommend uh, for 720p they recommend um, 7.5 so what we're gonna do is I guess we're gonna be doing 7.5 because that's exactly what we're gonna do and it's gonna be a little higher if you guys want you could play with the data rates all you want you could increase it or lower it but what YouTube shows here is how it's gonna be played back on their site I mean you could decrease it and try to make it a little better but I mean, this is how it's going to be played back on their site, so it's really, you can just go ahead and put it up, up to here. That's really what you can do. I wouldn't mess with the keyframe distance or anything like that, just leave it at that, I guess you could say. Um, and let's just go ahead and check maximum render quality. Uh, if you want to import it into the project right after it finishes um, exporting, you can do that. Um, set start time code, uh, nope. But that's basically all the export settings it's really simple everything is just i mean all you have to do is just change this to high make sure this is at 3.2 and render at maximum depth dbr2 pass da, 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 7.525 and this is for 60 frames per second this is for 60 by the way um if you want to do it for 30 frames per second we could just go ahead and change this to 30 and we could just go ahead and what does youtube want youtube wants uh let's say five megabits per second perfect so let's just go ahead and put in five this is how big your video will be and it'll be at 30 frames per second um and that's how it will export uh, basically um, and that's really how you do it if you want to save this as a preset so you don't have to keep going back and doing whatever you can just click this little button right here that's a safe preset name it as whatever you honestly want and just hit ok and it'll be there for you I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of this preset and just use my 720p 60 uh, preset and there's, it's really the same exact thing as you guys have it's it's actually literally the same thing um, and actually the only difference is, is that I actually haven't changed this to 7.5, but, um, which I am going to do, but, um, that's really all you need to know for exporting. Once you're ready to export, just hit the export button right there and your video will start to encode. Like, let me just show you what the exporting process looks like. Yeah, it's really boring. You have to sit through a while of this. I know it's, it's really boring and... Yeah, that's, that's exporting for you. I'm just going to hit cancel uh, and just close out Premiere. But that's really all you need to really know for doing your export settings and making sure your video looks good after you edit it. And, if, and to show you guys the final product of the video, you could actually go ahead and watch the video. Um, it's in the cards, whatever, or the annotation you guys saw earlier um that's really it there's really nothing else to it i mean just make sure you're the recording you're recording fine um i even made a video on how to use merlis action which is the which is the recording software i'm using right now and wow this video is getting pretty long but yeah guys thank you so much for watching please be sure to leave a like leave a comment let me know what you guys enjoyed about it and go ahead and follow me on twitter my link's in the description i'll answer all your questions or you could comment down below i'll answer some more there that's that's it's it's there for you uh, or you could just tell me what you guys want me to do for a tutorial next um but yeah three two one stay sexy see you guys later goodbye